Hello students, welcome to Shogur Officer classes. In today's video, we will be solving a few questions from the section 3 of model question paper of SAT examination. First, starting with the question number 15, C equals to 5 by 9 into F minus 32, where C is the degree Celsius and F is the degree in Fahrenheit. So, the Celsius and Fahrenheit are the two measurement of temperature in degree. And we have in this equation, C is expressed in form of F. That is, Celsius is expressed in terms of Fahrenheit. Option A says that a temperature increase of 1 degree Fahrenheit is equivalent to temperature increase in 5 by 9 degree of Celsius. This is true because if we increase 1 degree Fahrenheit, this will result in 1 into 5 by 9 that is 5 by 9 degree increase in the degree Celsius. Option 2 is a temperature increase in 1 degree Celsius is equivalent to temperature increase of 1.8 degree Fahrenheit. We have to check it. So if we increase 1 degree Celsius that will result in how much increase in Fahrenheit. So let's say Celsius was 0, Celsius was 0, so 5 by 9 F minus 32, 0 was equals to 5 by 9 F by that equals to 32, so 5 by 9 F was equals to 32 and F was equals to 32 into 9 divided by 5. Similarly, when we increase 1 degree Celsius, this becomes 1 equals to 5 by 9 F minus 32. So, 5 by 9 F is basically equals to 33. Hence, F is equals to 33 into 9 divided by 5. So, the change in Fahrenheit is taking 9 by 5 common 33 minus 32 which is equals to 1. So, 9 by 5 into 1 that is 9 by 5 which is equals to 1.8 so a change in 1 degree Fahrenheit means a change in 1 sorry a change in 1 degree Celsius is equivalent to 1.8 degree change in Fahrenheit so option 1 and option 2 both are correct now coming to the last option option 3 a temperature increase of 5 by 9 degree Fahrenheit is equivalent to temperature increase in 1 degree Celsius so if we increase Fahrenheit by 5 by 9 it will result in 5 by 9 into 5 by 9 which is 25 by 81 degree increase in Celsius which is not equi equals to 1 hence option 3 is wrong option 1 and option 2 was correct so option D is our correct answer that 1 and 2 only now we will solve question number 16 x cube into x square minus 5 is equals to minus 4x. If x is greater than 0, what is one possible solution to the equation above? So x cube into x square minus 5 is equals to 4, minus 4x. That means x to the power 5 minus 5x cube minus 4 equals to minus 4x. Or we can write x to the power 5 plus 4x minus 5x cube that is equals to 0. Now taking x common x into x to the power 4 minus 5x square plus 4 is equals to 0. Now x to the power 4 minus 5x square plus 4 we can write it in the form of x into third bracket x to the power 4 minus x square minus 4x square plus 4 is equals to 0. So x into taking x square common this is again x square minus 1 and again taking minus 4 common x square minus 1 is equals to 0. So x into x square minus 1 into x square minus 4 is equals to 0 or 
x into x plus 1 into x minus 1 into x plus 2 into x minus 2 is equals to 0. This is our required form of the given equation. So we from this we can see that x equals to either 0 or x equals to minus 1 or x equals to 1 or x equals to minus 2 or x equals to plus 2. But it is mentioned that x is strictly greater than 0. So this value x equals to 0, x equals to minus 1 and x equals to minus 2 these three this one this one and this one will not be will not satisfy our given condition hence x can take here only two values that is x equals to 1 or x equals to 2 now we will solve the question number 17 but before solving question number 17 i will clear the page if 7 by 9x minus 4 by 9x is equals to 1 by 4 plus 5 by 12 what is the value of x this is very easy question 7 by 9x minus 4 by 9x means taking x common 7 minus 4 divided by 9 which is equals to LCM of 4 and 12 is 12 so 3 plus 5 hence 3 by 9 into x is equals to 8 by 12 or 1 by 3 x is equals to 2 by 3 and these 3 in the 2 denominators in the denominator of left side and right hand side will be cancelled out and x will be equals to 2 so the answer for question number 17 is 2 so this was all for today's video in this video we have solved 15, 16 and 17 number of question. If you have any doubt or any queries, you can call us in this number 9836793076 or you can ask any query of yours by mailing in our address Shourav Sir Classes at the rate gmail.com. Thank you.